Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this Oracle database programming session, we'll discuss about the DBMS underscore output package. So we should be able to understand what are the procedures or functions which are available in the DBMS output package and how do we use it when we do a PLSQL program. Okay, let us understand some of the functionalities about DBMS underscore output. So what is DBMS underscore output? It is a package. It's Oracle provided package which provides set of functionalities to provide a logging information when we write any of the PLSQL program. So in the DBMS underscore package, there are two important procedures. One is put and another one is put underscore line, which takes a character as an input or a string as an input and provides the output on the console. Okay. So what is the need of it is like uh, when we write in a PLSQL program, so we always need to understand how the program is working, right? Like uh, for, for debugging purpose, we have to understand like uh, where your program got error. So in, during unit testing, mostly during unit testing, mostly what we do is we'll be making use of this particular package to understand where the program reached and if it is getting an error or error and what is the error details. All for, for those things, we use the put, put and the put underscore line processor. And also one more thing, like uh, when you write a debug message, right? So if the message content is so much, then what will happen is let us say if your if your message string reaches more than three two seven six seven bytes, what will happen is it will give you another error. So the basic thing is we use put or put or put underscore line processor to capture the logging information. But your log content, whatever you write it in the put underscore line package, if it is more than a particular length it raises another exception so okay so what we have to do is this is only like a, for partial kind of logging you have to use this one let us say if you want to if you want to write good amount of logging information then better use your custom table and package to write the information to the table and then try to validate it is just a partial way of validating a plsql package for you know like writing some log information okay and here like um, we'll try to see some sample like how do you enable it how do we run it okay so before proceeding further, let us see some more information of this package. So in the package, we have these set of processor. Okay, so like um, total seven processor are there. The first one, if you consider the disable. So what exactly disable is like, uh, this will disable the logging information. Let us say when you invoke dbms underscore output dot disable, it will disable the logging of your dbms output. And enable is for the enable purpose. And get line or get lines is for the purpose of the content from the buffer. Okay, so see like a get line or get get underscore lines, get underscore line or get underscore lines. Generally, we rarely use it. We are just want to understand what is available in the DMS underscore output and what as a developer, we generally use it. We'll try to understand them. Other one is new line. It just simply creates a new empty line. Put, it creates like a, it, you know, like a, whatever the logging, logging in, uh, log message which you have, which a developer has written, it will be provided in the output without, without appending a new line. Put underscore line, what it will do is whatever the content which you mentioned in the put underscore line um, in the string content, it will append a new line to that. So that's the difference between put as well as put underscore line. Either way, we can use it. It all depends upon our requirement or understanding how to be write it. Let us see a simple PLSQL program sample. Then, you know, we'll try to validate how, how you know, like uh, we can use of them appropriately. Okay. So the first thing is like, uh, let us say when you connect to the SQL developer. Okay. Here, if you observe, I'll just close this one. Okay, I'll also disconnect first of all. Okay, now let us say I connected to my database and now assume that like uh, I'll just say declare begin dbms underscore output dot put underscore hello world. So I just wrote this particular message. So as I told you the input to the dbms underscore output put underscore line procedure is a string. So this is our package name. This is a procedure name. Okay. Now I'll just execute this one. This got completed or compiled or executed successfully. But where is the where is this hello world? It is not printed here, right? Because we have not enabled our DBMS underscore output. You click on view underscore DBMS underscore output and select the connection and select the current connection in which you are executing your program. You just need to execute it again and you should be able to see the information. Okay. So this is one way of seeing the log information when you write a PLSQL program using a SQL developer. Let us say if you're using the Unix prompt or a SQL plus SQL plus prompt, how do you validate it? So this is also similar one here. If you observe, let us say, you just need to call set server output on, okay? So when you set server output on, what will happen is it will internally call the dbms underscore output dot enable procedure. And then you can write the normal information like a begin dbms underscore 
output dot put underscore line hello world PL SQL and and slash okay just try again okay we just got some error that's fine let's write again begin output dot put underscore line hello okay you are able to see the hello right see like uh, what is the need of this particular sql plus prompt sometimes like um, during you know like a deployment of any patch or you know like uh, execution of a scripts from the sql window so what happens is like we like uh, oracle generally provide some login information or maybe let us say as a dba or a developer you want to execute some of the scripts on your server to find out what is a what is the status of a particular program or a block in those scenarios like make sure that you enable the server output on then you have to run it so that it will print the login information at the console okay this is one way of enabling the dms underscore output if at all if you don't want to have it let us say dms underscore output dot disable now if i just execute this one i'll clear i'm just clearing the log if you execute what will happen is nothing is printed here okay nothing is printed now let us say if i enable it if i enable it whatever the content which we write they will be provided here okay so that's the difference between enable as well as disable okay so let us see a few more information like um, the put and put as put underscore line logic uh, so i'll just comment the other information which we'll discuss further as of now here if you observe i'm enabling it first of all and then i provided like a put new line put underscore line put underscore line right just execute this one now here if you observe so here hello world is printed and after hello world the welcome to oracle db enjoy the pl sql so it just came in the new line right now i'll just disable this one first i'll disable this one nothing but i comment that one and try to re-execute and here if you observe after hello world the welcome to oracle db came into came into just after print after print of the hello world so it did not take any new line as an input so that's the difference between put underscore line as well as put okay so you can use either way it all depends upon your uh, commenting style if at all if you want to have a new line if at all if you want to have a new line just write this new line command that's it so what it will do is it just print a new line that's it now here if you observe let us say in this i'll just copy here now try to print it can you see we just got one more extra line here it's like just printing an empty line that's a difference that's the purpose of a new line now coming to other other functionality i want to show you is like get lines what is the purpose of get lines so get lines see these things may not be used by the developer but let us understand what is the functionality which Oracle has designed for that. So here, if you observe, whenever you use get lines, whenever you use get lines, the, any of your previous DBMS, or, DBMS underscore output, the content, the put line content will not be printed in the output. Okay. So now here is what is happening is when you use a get line, any previous output will be will not be provided in the output. And using get line, it will get the content. And I have used a line array here. And what I'm doing is I'm iterating the loop and printing the content now in the array. So this line, this lines array is having the information. So this get lines procedure provides the information, and it, this lines is a like an output variable. This will have all the information about the content which you have written in the previous put underscore line. Now, as I mentioned two, that's why you know like, we are able to see only two lines. Let us see if I mention four. If I if I mention four, if we try to re-execute, right? We are able to see the four lines. So that's a functionality of get lines. And also you can just try to understand. Let us say if you want to see the source code. Of this particular dbms underscore output just try to find out select star from all underscore objects where object underscore name is equal to dbms underscore output okay so this for this the is a package the owner assists right just press shift f4 and you should be able to see the so like uh, the package source and also if you at all if you want to have the package body just click on open body now here if you observe it is not showing any source code okay because these are some of the internal packages generally oracle will not share the source code okay yeah so this is all about you know like a dbms underscore output package just explore them and try to understand the functionality of the dbms underscore output methods thank you